A few weeks ago, I posted an initial speed test on my Wi-Fi 6 Enterprise Access Point. Uh, I got a ton of comments and people asking why I tested with speed test instead of Wi-Fi Man or iPerf 3. So I am going to test those three things here and see what kind of speeds this access point gets. Uh, a couple of people said it wasn't real world testing and that's true, it was set up, there was nothing connected to it at the time. Now it's been two weeks in place the way my house is set up. I haven't really figured out the best way to mount it. Um, so for the past two years, I've had the Wi-Fi AC light and then now a Wi-Fi 6 uh, just sitting here and it's been working fine for the upstairs. So now I've switched it out for the Wi-Fi 6 Enterprise and down the hall in one of the bedrooms, there's a Wi-Fi AC light that I'm gonna move the Wi-Fi 6 light to here in a few days. So let's do speed test first. I'm pretty close to it. Oh, hang on. So this is not on this access point, actually. This is, or at least not even on Wi-Fi 6. So um, let me change network real quick. Didn't even say Wi-Fi 6 at the top, so that must be the AC speed on this thing. So Wi-Fi 6E requires WA WPA3, so it kind of has to have its own network. And so far in my house, I only have one device on it, but this access point being here for two weeks has about, I think, 16 things connected to it right now. So it is in use. Try to make it more real world. So this is the 6E speed using speed test. I usually range between 1300 and almost 1500. And then the download, I mean, the upload is usually around between 900 and 1200. All right, so let's switch over to Wi Fi Man. I'll do speed test direct to my gateway. Wi-Fi Man usually gives me a pretty accurate speed test for the download, but I never get much for upload off of it, usually around 200 to 300. As seen here, 267. So that's why I don't usually use Wi-Fi Man. And then iPerf 3, I didn't use it at the time because I didn't know you could do um, a capital P and do parallel connections. Which actually, it's defaulting to lowercase, but I found that 10 connections is the easiest way to get the most out of it. I've tried different combinations, 20, 10, 5, 3, 2. Let's run that, and I'm close to it here. Also, when you run 10 connections, it's much easier to calculate out your total. You just multiply. So here, 73 by 10, so 730. Or here, 1260 at the end. Let me put this back up here for size comparison. So this is the Wi-Fi 6 Lite side by side with the Wi-Fi 6 Enterprise. Much beefier, this thing gets a lot hotter. And I've got it powered with a 2.5 gigabit Kudi or Cudi brand PoE and Plus injector. That is somewhere behind the couch there. Let's do some speed tests at some different ranges here. Um, I'll use Wi-Fi Man for this because it does a quick download speed test. So across the room, but still line of sight. Twelve hundred megabits, or just under. Let's go. So one wall over, but open still. Got 
cuts this down in half. Let's go almost line of sight. There's a little bit of a couch in the way here. And then let's do so one bedroom over. Well, one bedroom down a long hallway. I'll close the door. Still pretty fast. Let me go. Another bedroom down, so way down a hall. Another bedroom down. Door closed. Realistically, could almost do the whole upstairs of this. Maybe if I had it placed better. I think the signal at negative 77 decibels would have issues with some of the devices in the house. <clears throat> and let's do one as we walk towards it. I've heard some people say if you get too close, it's not as fast. Oh, I wanted to hit 1500 on that one. And then as a last test, I know it's not a good comparison or a good way to test it because the access point is pointing upwards. So it's broadcasting, you know, up and not so much down, but let's go down a set of stairs. And I'll start just going right underneath it. Four hundred fifty megabits, and you know I keep a hardwired. This is an AC access point here for all home theater stuff in in this room. So let me go a little farther away. So now I'm a floor underneath it and pretty far over. And we're really starting to slow down. And then let's go through a fireproof door down a floor far over from it into a garage. And it looks like we're not going to get anything because we're only connected at a physical speed of eight megabits. So at this point, I would hope it would roam onto an access point I have up on the ceiling over there. And now we're on the AC access point in the garage here. Probably worth mentioning to the um, iPerf 3 I was running. That is connected on a desktop that can handle 10 gigabits. It's I've got two desktops that are wired for 10 gigabits. So I've been able to test between them that I'm reaching the full potential there. 
my speed test varies. I'm only supposed to get a gigabit, but they don't have quality of service on. So it usually ranges between uh, 2,600 and five gigabits down and 1,100 megabits up. So let me know if you have any other questions on my setup um, or anything else you want me to test. And thanks for watching.